gun. Meme review. What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers? It's been a while. I've missed you. I really have. Also, last time we did this, we actually threw out a thing saying that if we could get 10,000 likes, wasn't it? 10,000 likes? For uh, the Claymore Roomba, we will actually do a Claymore Roomba in the next gun meme review, which this currently is. Uh, however, uh, by the time I was able to order a Roomba, um, Amazon was delaying the shipment, so uh, it kind of came in too late to film. The Claymore was easy to get, which A plus America, I guess. But we will absolutely be making good on that promise, so next gun meme review, which is coming the first Thursday of December, right? Okay, I know my schedule. Now the last gun meme review, we had to mourn the loss of the contender known as Beto O'Rourke, also known as Francis O'Rourke, also known as Bithead. His anti-gun memes were a fantastic staple of gun meme review, and you guys have watched and subscribed, I mean, um, uh, enjoyed them uh, just as much. Luckily, we have a new contender to take his place, and this one's planning on sticking around for a little while. We have the wonderful Joe Biden, ladies and gentlemen, coming in saying some dumb shit in the news. And I quote, I believe in the Second Amendment, but nobody says you can have a magazine with 100 clips in it. Wow, that's a beautiful dose of verbal cancer. A magazine with 100 clips in it. My gun magazines hold bullets. I don't know what kind of magazines you've got, Joe, but uh, might want to stick to that shotgun. Well, even my shotguns have magazines, but let's not talk about that right now. JB, used to be Justin Bieber, now it's Joe Biden, I guess. Uh, nobody needs a magazine with 100 clips in it. Yep, I 100% agree, it's useless. <laughs> Cramming a bunch of actual stripper clips inside a, God, I feel like this should come with like a Brazzers tab. Speaking of cursed gun images, thinking about doing one of those videos, so if you wanna see a cursed gun meme review, go ahead and like and subscribe and hit the notification bell, comment with uh, hashtag AKG notification squad and you can win some merch and some other cool stuff and I might love you forever. So you run that risk. You'll also be subscribed to get some B plus level content. Joe Biden, ban 9mm pistols, just like we ban bazookas and machine guns. Looks like Boog is back on the menu. Ah, that's wonderful. We needed somebody to step up and take Beto's place, and, and Joe seems more than happy to step up. Pedomon, gotta touch them all. Okay, I know that one's not even gun related, but come on, it's Joe Biden. Yeah, I, I had to. You know what's even more unrelated to that? Epstein didn't kill himself. And before I get suicided, we'll move to another area of politics where um, I've got a bit of a social faux pas from Representative Eric Swalwell. Chris, so far the evidence is uncontradicted that the president used taxpayer dollars to ask the Ukrainians to help him cheat uh -huh. an election. And here I'm used to politicians producing hot air from the other end, so this is a welcome change. <laughs> I'm glad we can all be adults here. Now you may remember Eric Swalwell as being one of the rabid anti-gun politicians who actually threatened to nuke his constituents a few months ago, which, that's a new one. I'm from America, we nuke other countries. Get it together. And just to think, if we actually kept doing that, we could have prevented anime forever. So more spewing from his Twitter, fair question. Rifles, that's not a question, sir. They're more powerful and cause more carnage when used with a pistol grip. See Scott Pelley and 60 Minutes Peace. To reduce semi-auto pistol deaths, I'd have universal background checks and mandatory reporting on mental health. Amazing. Every word of what you just said was wrong. Well, good news, uh, I don't think anybody on the national stage is actually listening to Representative Retard McFartface. Which is how I will address him from now on. Next meme, The Mandalorian on Disney Plus. Uh, it's a Big new thing, I can't wait to watch it. I haven't seen it yet, don't spoil it or I will come to your house and kill you. The one thing I couldn't help but have spoiled for me from my Instagram feed is uh, a line from The Mandalorian that has become instant Boogaloo Boy treasure, which was this gem. I'm a Mandalorian, weapons are part of my religion. As soon as I first saw this and knew that that was a quote from the show, I knew that my Instagram feed was gonna be flooded with this. Good quote, dig it but I knew this was coming. So let's go ahead and venture into some of these memes from our good friend, Arsenal616. Me at Thanksgiving dinner. All gun control is bullshit and unconstitutional. Family, is that all you think about? Me, I'm a Mandalorian. Weapons are part of my religion. Thankfully, I don't have to put up with that at Thanksgiving dinner, at least not with my immediate family. Everybody's pretty much on the same page. Thank Christ. So, um, 
Unfortunately, I'm sure that's not necessarily true with all of the rest of you guys. So if that's you, go ahead and sound off in the comments. And uh, if you see somebody sounding off in the comments with a uh, horror story from an anti-gun Thanksgiving, go ahead and put an F down below to pay respects. Europeans, so uncivilized. Americans, weapons are part of my religion. Pretty much every comment war I saw on my mass shootings video, it's just a bunch of Europeans saying, oh, this wouldn't be a problem, get stabbed. If you guys were just acid thrown on their face, ban guns like we did, gets mauled over by a truck. The government, turn in your guns, me. I'm a libertarian, weapons are part of my religion. Pretty good, it's a funny meme. Um, is everybody gonna make their own version that's like 5% different? When you ask an American why they need guns, I'm a, I'm a American, really. I'm a American, weapons are part of my religion. My Instagram feed continued like this for some time. Ah, from the press check, which has become one of my new favorite pages on Instagram. Uh, Disney's Mandalorian set to backlog Cerakoters nationwide. Just when you thought all the cringy themed Cerakote builds were done with, Disney Plus steps up to the plate to make sure Blow Deadline has an even longer backlog. I know very little about Blown Deadline, by the way, so that was not a dig. Um, maybe their backlog is better. I'm sure they do great work. A sponsor gun meme review? This is kind of related. Luke putting an illegal green kyber crystal in his 80% build. Anybody has the affiliate link where I could go ahead and grab an 80% lightsaber? Would absolutely love it. The kyber crystal just put that in my DM and like, I'll have it shipped to my neighbor's house under a prepaid visa. As a Star Wars nerd, I absolutely loved all the Mandalorian memes. I cannot wait to watch it, even though we all know Baby Yoda was thrown in there just to sell toys. Come on you, Disney. Porgs didn't work. Baby Yoda could never fail. I'll go ahead and rate the Mandalorian memes. It was a 10 of 10 when it first got there. Within 30 minutes, uh, it was more like a, a five out of 10. So uh, 10 millimeter, that's gonna cause butt hurt and I cannot wait to see it. Let's go ahead and move on to some miscellaneous gun memes. Keep this thing rolling. So next memes, HuffPost, you shouldn't own military night vision, me. Did they really say that? Why? Damn people and their ability to see at night. You gonna try to ban prescription glasses next? Damn people and their ability to see in the day. Plus, pretty much the majority of the reason why people buy NVGs in the first place is to hunt with them. So the one thing you said we could do with guns, you're trying to stop us from doing. Thank you guys. I was thinking we were just gonna get some good monetization, some good analytics and everything from mentioning the Mandalorian and everything, and I'd turn around and say, cuff po. So balanced as all things should be. When you wanted a new gun for your birthday, but you get new shorts and some toothpaste. Oh, okay. It's actually funny because we're filming this on my birthday, which uh, you guys will never know because you know, we don't film these when we post them. When your buddy forgets to call a cold range before going to change targets, and you remember that time in high school when he hooked up with that girl you had a crush on, and now you're wondering if you can get away with Dick Cheneying his ass. I love Mike's face in this because it actually it matches the text decently well. Arsenal. That sounds like a very specific situation. Is everything okay at home? I care about you, buddy. Your face after the first shot in an airsoft match and you're pretty sure it's the wrong gun. His face, he just has a face for reactions. My face, if you pause any bit of any of my videos, I have a retarded looking face. So I'm very, very jealous of the photogenic nature of, of Grantham. You know, he's actually a cool guy. We need to get him on a gun meme review sometime. List of modern Russian small arms and light weapons. You can help by expanding it. Indeed. This is the part where you add it in post and uh, it looks like that. Please check your kid's Halloween candy this year. I found a fully functional AK-47 in my kid's candy. Damn, which house is giving those out? When you pull an old mag out of the mud, an entire AK and arm comes with it. Yeah, that's a face. Uh, that's never happened to me before, but maybe I have different experiences than some of you guys. Uh, if you've ever pulled an old AK mag out of the mud and an AK came with it, including an arm, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Speaking of that subscribe button, statistically, according to our analytics, the majority of the people who watch Gun Meme Review click on our amazing thumbnails, first of all. But if you guys are not subscribed, so if this is your kind of content, you know, you like gun memes and you can tolerate me, definitely please click that subscribe button and considering consider pressing that a notification bell icon because we do actually give away rewards to our hashtag AKG notification squad. But now that I'm done with that shameless plug, I think that is the end of today's gun meme review. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers 
in the next video coming out on Monday. Mondays and Thursdays at noon. Ish. Later, guys. That the president used taxpayer dollars to ask the Ukrainians to help him cheat an election. So let's see what Delant sent me here. Hi, Brandon. This is Farhan Tahir. You might remember me from Iron Man. So I hear it's your birthday. So happy, happy, happy birthday. I hope you have an amazing day and a phenomenal year. I know you're going to kill it as an engineer this year. And I know you're going to have a fun, fun, fun and a fabulous year in your social and personal life. So keep doing what you're doing. And I hope you have an amazing year. You bastard. That's awesome.